What is up guys and welcome back and now in this video we'll be working over the account settings so you can see that I explain you everything here so I don't think so if I need to explain you this is our my account page this is our registration I explained to you that we need to enable the registration on the checkout page enable the customer registration on my account page so if someone visits my account page so let me just open up um, the private tab and let's just enter the uh, s5.completedoublepickcourse.com, okay? And then here, if someone wants to just go to my account page, then you can see that we only have given the access to login and register and enter the password. We haven't given the access to register to our website. So um, you will you can just select it that the only customer can only register on the checkout page, not the my account page. So if you want them to just um, register to your website on my account page, you will enable it and then you will hit save changes. Okay. And then when someone will come here, he will just come here and he will refresh. And then you will see that a register page is also coming right here register form okay so a person can enter his email address password and then he can register himself so this is how the registration works then we have the login display return thing customer login reminder on checkout page okay so um it will show on checkout page if i just go to this right here and then i go to the shop right here okay and then i also just go go ahead and hit add to cart Okay, and then I hold, go to view card right here and then I hit uh, proceed to checkout. So here you can see that this is showing returning customer. Click here to log in. Okay, so this is showing that. Okay, so this is showing uh, that thing that is um, displayed returning customer a reminder on checkout page, which is that automatically generate username for customer email automatically generate customer password okay so you can also automatically generate customer password and then you can send them to email but uh, let the customer set his own password why you want to generate it okay so then we have the orders view order downloads and everything right here and this is totally done so let's just go ahead and let's hit save changes and now you can see that everything has been changed so let's go to email trade now and this is also i have already explained so i don't think so if i need to explain you the email would be from this email address and the from address would be this so you have to basically enter your domain name email address i'll show you how you can create your domain email address that will be info at your domain name.com so i will show you later on not right now but i will show you okay and then we have the header image we have the footer text okay then we have the base color background color body body text color and everything so you can just manage these of the customization of the email okay and then we have the api you guys already know about the api i've told you that you can connect your site with different applications we will learn about printful how you can connect printful with this in the later on okay so now we are totally done with the settings okay so thanks a lot guys for watching this till here in the next video Video. we'll be discussing different type of products we'll add some more categories we'll design our this basic e-commerce based website okay and then we will work with more okay so stay tuned guys and bye